Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing the Let's Go Driving Rock review. Not the artwork, and a red and black logo with what looks like it's going fast, as that's what car you would do when you're driving. Not really too sure what's happening, but I think, yeah, it just looks like animation of you driving fast, but stuff. Logo, the back, which I'll get to in a minute. Advertising the app, which no longer exists, but these discs are a bit different. See the one in red, logo down the side there, and the red dotted pattern. See the one like an analog clock. CD2 is yellow, and CD3 is blue. I do like these disc designs. They're a lot different to what they normally are, which makes a change for now. So yeah, just don't find that one really. So like the discs, three, that's my favourite, that's my second, that's my least, but they're all good. I do like them all. Kicking off CD1, we have Queen, another one bites the dust, The Clash, Should I Stay or Should I Go, The Killers, Mr. Brightside, The Fray, How to Save a Life, Razor Light, America, Deep Blue Something, Breaths at Tiffany's, Brisson, More Than a Feeling, Blue, Adam is born to you, run to you, simple plans, don't you forget about me, run DMC, walk this way, it's a load of rock, rock classics, Alice Cooper, ending off with a final countdown by Europe, and then going up to CD2, we start with Sweet Home Alabama, Fleetwood Mac, Everywhere, Toto Africa, Train Drive By, Billy Joel, We Don't Start, We Didn't Start the Fire, a load of young rock, I Want to Know What Love Is by Foreigner, White Snake, Where, uh, Here I Go Again, Cutting Crew, I Just Done Your Arms, Share, If I Could Turn Back Time, Heart Alone, ending off this disc, in fact, since you've been gone, I've been going up to the CD3, Teenage Dirtbag by Wisa, Blink-182, All the Small Things, The Who, Back on the mechanics, over my shoulder. Meatloaf, I took the rose right out of my mouth. Hot summer night. Stevie kicks. So CD1 has 20, CD2 has 19, CD3 has 20, making it a 57 track list. All together. So yeah, my final thoughts on the album is a really good album. Kind of rock, but not too rocky, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I would recommend this if you want a few collection or you just like rock stuff. There's a load of other rocks, and I like this kind of music. Uh, I like some of this on here, and it's mainly older stuff on this album. This album came out in 2017, but there's nothing really much. I think one of the newest is Mr. Brightside by The Killers, which came out in 2004, or 2003, it was re-released in 2004. But most of this is like 80s, 90s tracks, even some going back to like the 70s, I think, I'm not too sure. But if you like your older music, then this is definitely the album for you. 
as it is now, coming up five years old. You won't be able to get this in H&B stores, but you will be able to get this probably on Neon, on Amazon, eBay, and CEX stores if they do CDs. Anyway, let me know what you think of the album in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.